When you got nothing better to do, it's time to get hanging with the herds. Hey guys, so I thought I would give you a little bit of a change of scenery, a little bit. I'm sitting right outside of our RV. And it's a bit of a difference out here now, isn't it? Without our big beautiful tree that we had and how green it was. Uh, just felt a lot more, I don't know, more luscious in the desert. But um, Winston's pulling me. Don't pull me. I've got his, his uh, leash around my, my wrist. So he's decided to pull me because there's someone just pulling up into the park. But uh, anyway, so yeah, it's a little bit different, but it's beautiful out today. I thought it was going to be cooler, but it's not. Uh, I've been actually watching people filling up their gas tanks at the um, at the gas cylinder over there. There's like a, he's got like a little depot over here for 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 gas. So I was looking at our LPG tank because I'm looking at all these people's little LPG tanks, and I'm thinking we've got to have something like that because there's no way that we can drive our whole RV over there to fill it up and then and then like come back right and so these people got all these little tanks or some of them got bigger tanks but they drive them over here they fill it up and then they I guess they attach it back um, to their RVs when they get back to their RV our tank isn't like that of course <laughs> what else could possibly well, I won't even say that because I don't want to jinx it. But basically, everything that is supposed to be in, I guess, a modern RV, like, you know, a hot water tank that works and doesn't leak, um, a gas tank that we could readily and easily fill so we could have gas and heat in the house um, or the RV, uh, we don't have. So I was just sit, sat down. I'll show you where it is. It's located right, right there. So I was just sitting down there on the ground and trying to have a look to see how can we fill it up. And it's got the valves and everything to fill it up, but I just can't see, like you can't take it out and take it over there and fill it up easily and then bring it back here. You literally have to drive the RV over there. And oh, did I tell you? Our battery on the RV is now dead. Yep, we have a dead battery. So we can't even drive it over there if we wanted to. So um, I'm trying to figure out a way. See, can you see the cylinder? You can see. I don't know if you can read it from here where it says propane, but that's that's basically where you where you get your your gas, your propane. So people are taking their propane tanks over there and filling it up and then taking it home so then they can use their stove and everything else i'm just trying to figure out a way how we can get gas from that into that without having to drive this over there do you guys have any suggestions can you let me know of an idea let us know of an idea how to do this um because seriously we don't have an iota of a clue and it would be great if we did have gas because then I could actually use the stove, I could use the oven, I could actually, you know, do some proper cooking without just having to use that to burn an electric thing and my new wave, which I love, don't get me wrong, I love my new wave, but like yesterday we had the Super Bowl party. By the way, congratulations to everyone who was who was barracking for the Seahawks. Yay, go Seattle! Um, we went to a Super Bowl party over here at the main house and that was kind of fun. Uh, but the game was just, I don't know, I'm changing the subject completely here, but the game was kind of, um, I don't know, it was kind of boring because it just felt like Denver wasn't putting anything into it and it was just like, just why don't we just at the beginning of the game just say, hey, Seattle, congratulations because you've just won. That's kind of how it, how it felt. And I don't know anything about football. Anywho, what was I saying? I don't even remember. Oh yeah, if you know any way that we can get, or any suggestions on how to get our LP Oh no, that's what I'll say, never mind, duh. I'm so out of it today, I don't know why. Um, no, but what I was saying, oh and there is my Aini. I've got a curtain up and she's still trying to get in through the blinds. What a little brat, ADD much? Um, no, what I was saying is like, I made chili and I would have liked to have made some cornbread. 
and my new wave is round right obviously and I wanted to make like a slab of cornbread bread to be able to take and I couldn't make that in my new wave because it's too small so I would have liked to have done that in the oven luckily someone else made chili and made cornbread but seriously I would like to have an oven again because I'd like to do some baking all right I gotta let this boy in go and change my dressings on my finger and yell at that cat because she is just can you see that can you see her sh batting at the blinds trying to get through <sighs> she's so naughty all right anyway if you got any suggestions on how to fill up this LPG gas tank without having to drive this over there because we can't take it out so there's there's no it's, it's completely attached in there um, so if you have any ideas please leave us a comment below thanks guys love you and we will see you tomorrow bye now don't you forget to like this video subscribe to our channel and share it all with your friends till next time hanging with the herds